Hello everybody and welcome back to Battle Brothers. This is Dr. Obsidia. I just had started the new, well, the old campaign up and this popped up along the road. While marching down the road, you find a man with a broken cart by the side of the path. By the wagon, there's a donkey standing idle and as defeated as the donkey can look. The trader looks a little bit better than that and your apprentice seems to have scared him. Your appearance, sorry, my <laughs> apprentice. He rears up, backing away momentarily. Have you come to take my things? If so, you needn't kill me. Take what you want. Oh, we're going to help him get his cart back on the road. Uh, you disarm the man from his fears and order a few of the Obsidian Knight's finest, <laughs> finest, to get the wagon back on the road. They make short work of it. With his wares back on the road, he offers a few tokens of gratitude. Uh, he gave us some bread. That's very nice of him. And we didn't need the bread uh, to go uh, because... We're traveling onward now. We're going to Alderstein to pick up some goods. We are our merchants. We're not going to raid merchants. Although, uh, in the next season, <laughs> if we, if, when this one fails, we may actually uh, continue on and make a bad company. All right. We just arrived in Alderstein. No missions here, as usual. There's good rock salt. Uh, that sells pretty well in the other city. Uh, there's copper as well. I think I'm going to buy the rock salt. We're not going to buy the copper right now, but we know where to come to make some good deals. All right, let's go north. If things start turning south, we can always head between Alderstein and Ein Einerstead. <laughs> oh, there's a little settlement right here. Hammer guard. I think we're coming in at night. Let's go ahead and camp until day. Okay, there we go. We got inside. We cannot do the quest here. Contracts are locked by the noble house. Uh, they have dogs. Dogs are really nice to run things down um, or unleash if you're in big trouble. Uh, let's check the market. Uh, they'll buy our rock salt at a profit, although it's not as much as I'd like. The roots and berries are pretty cheap. So are some of their armor and things, which is good. Good place to buy stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and sell the rock salt, though. They do have an armor. Selling things at reasonable prices. I wouldn't say great, but reasonable. Let's see the dogs. We could get a dog. Dog with armor. We have the ability to put armor on them. This armor's worth 200, and the armor that we were going to make uh, makes even better. Let's get a dog without any armor on him right now. Spike the War Dog or Ghost? Let's get Ghost. He sounds cool. He's cheaper than normal. We could actually get a couple of them. Uh, let's get Bane the War Dog. Let's get Bane the War Dog and Ghost. Um, let's let the Archer have one. Bane. And we can unleash him. And he'll go running after people. They You can't control them. They just go nuts on their own. Um, I think we're just going to leave. Well, we would like somebody else to be having uh, Ghost. He pops out if we die. <laughs> so, <laughs> Balin maybe? Okay, Balin has Ghost. Uh, no one real good here to pick up. There's some really good people. A retired soldier. Militia, a wild man, <laughs> and more militia. So we're not going to hire anybody. Uh, no missions here. Nothing to do here. Uh, let's head to Adlerstein. Check my uh, loot here. We have the pelt. We don't really have anything else to sell, though. And the pelt is what I would like to use to put on the dogs.
You saw how good the direwolves were. Well, the dogs are pretty tough too. Uh, they have a local holiday. Time for food and drink. Rock salt is cheap. So is copper. Uh, we're going to pick up the rock salt. Let's, uh, sell the club and I'm going to keep the dagger. I'm going to turn around, head back to Einerstead. Just, uh, we're in the negatives now, that's bad. So, uh, earn some crown fast or our people are going to desert. Don't worry, we're headed to Einerstead. We're going to sell. We've got some rock salt. Can we make it before sundown? Probably not. No. They do have a mission here, though. We have to camp until morning. Let's see if they're awake yet. Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, yeah, we bought it for two seventy-eight. We're selling it for four ninety-seven. It's a good deal. Now we got some money. Barely hanging in there. We need to do a little bit better than that. Don't want to hire anybody. I, I kind of do want to hire somebody. Is there anybody really cheap? No, not really. Okay, let's see what mission they got for us. Hey. Here's cargo to deliver Adlerstein. Hey, we were going there anyway. Leonard of Stewart is waiting for How many crowns are we talking? Can you give us a little more? 140 crowns? Okay. We'll take it. And we'll leave. Adlerstein. <laughs> going back and forth. Uh, these places are going to like us a little bit. Their relations here are open. And over here they're open too. That's the local. And then but down below it is the actual... Uh, Nobles. All right, we delivered our package. Roads are rough these days, and uh, here you go. Here's your package. All right, we got 618 now, so we're gonna buy up. Let's see, we're still okay with all of our other stuff. We're a little bit low on food, though. A little bit. We're gonna go ahead and buy all the copper. Right now. There's a mission here. It's too hard. There is an armor here, so like I said, we can go sell our copper down here. I think it sells fairly well. And I think they are rebuilding, so they might actually like to buy copper. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see. Um, ambush trade routes, and they are rebuilding. So, ooh, they'll buy it, but it's not really great price. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell it, one of them, to keep my money up. They're a little bit overpriced on other stuff here. Uh, they don't have any missions for us. All right, so now uh, we can travel on down the road. Let's see what's down here. Only got 29 days. There's a trading caravan coming. Only got 29 days of food left. Here's a copper vein, which is interesting because we just sold copper. Where's this town at? Some peasants running around. Trading caravan coming up this way. Markland, maybe? The region we just found? Along the road, your company seems to have caught the attention of a messenger. Ah, sellsword without a role in this world. Woe is ye. Well, Hammerden, not far from here, has got something for you. I suggest you get on to it. Check your maps to see if it's worth the trip. Paid work, you say? Hammer then. There's a mushroom grove here. Mushroom grove uh, is good for gathering precious mushrooms and things. Here's Grunbach. Different uh, people here, different nobility. And they don't have any good missions for us either. Disappearing villagers, rebuilding effort. Uh, they're not going to pay much. You know, when we were in the other town, I should have bought the uh, armor for the dog. I didn't buy it. The taxidermist here will do it for 50. It's a uh, war dog armor worth 200. Uh, okay, so there we go. Put 
it on our war dog there in the back because that's probably the one I'm going to unleash more often than not. We are 97. Food is a little bit low. Uh, we'll buy some green just to keep going. And down the road we go. Not venturing off the road, there's just too much bad stuff out there. Adelhofen. Another two skull mission. Well, they're selling grain even cheaper. Guess we could get more grain. Anybody here? Uh, Day Taylor? No. We're not going to pay for anybody just yet. Let's keep going. All of the peasants. Peasants know where they're going. They're going to the place they can make some money. Adler stolen. A lot of Adlers. <laughs> Uh, okay. Again, we can sell this, but not for much. And they got another two skull mission here. Um, a shepherd and a monk want to be hired. People are disappearing here, too. We've come quite far. We have to go even further to find work. No travelers on the road at night. Something burned out here, a battle. It's always a risk, depending on who won. It's out in the middle of nowhere, too. Uh-oh. Ruins. Something was destroyed here. Found the coast and a One Skull mission. Uh, they're going to pay a little more for our copper ingots, so I think we're going to sell those to keep our money up. They have a tailor who is not used to hard labor. They have a fisherman here who is used to physical labor. I think we're going to hire Leverect here. Leberect, uh, he has a net, so we're gonna make sure that we give him an axe instead and a buckler to put in the net's place when he uses his net. Probably a one-time use and destroyed, yeah. We'll keep him slightly in the reserve here just in case, okay. Uh, and we got our one skull mission, so let's see what they want us to do. Randolph the Elder has a lot of troubles. Bertwolf, a man of some import here, states that Brigands made a pass his daughters. Now he's worried they'll do the, do the next time. Luckily, the man is of some wealth and could easily track those brigands down. If I were you, if I were to pay a decent sum, how earnestly could you drive one of those them swords through a brigand or two? How many crowns are we talking? 360? We need to be paid more for this. 370? All right. You can actually keep going, but um, a lot of times after the second, first time you ask, they'll tell you no, and then they'll even cancel it sometimes. Northeast of Sandorf, Sandorf, which is where we're at. Okay, we're going looking for some brigands here. Northeast. We could definitely use their armor and weapons, too. We need to be very careful engaging these guys. Oh, there they are. Unknown garrison. It's an abandoned stronghold. Location is on a step. We're gonna engage. Hopefully, there's not too many of them. We might have to run for it. Only five, and uh, they don't have much. Okay. We can actually shoot them from here. That's a pretty long shot. All right. Uh, which one's best? This guy with the flail, I think. I don't like him. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> All right. You can just stay right there.
to step up to you and bash you over the head. A shield wall. Pass. Let's see what happens here. That was probably a mistake. I probably should have attacked. We'll step up here and spear wall. I think we'll step up and swing. Ooh, yeah, cut his arms in you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we can throw. Um, throw. Two misses with our javelins here. And uh, we can throw the net. 100% chance. There we go. We'll just stay back. And we can shoot. Let's shoot this guy right here. Good hit. Popped him in the shoulder. Oh. Took off our armor. This. Trying to slash him on the head there, bash him on the head, and it didn't work. Ooh, nice kill. Okay, we're gonna step up here and poke him with a spear. Uh, he's got javelins, but now he's gonna have to switch his, his inventory, so we're gonna put the dagger in there. That does use up some of his action fatigue. And we are going to go ahead and stab this brigand thug right in the windpipe. Bang! Look at that. Go ahead and put the shield on now. We can fire. 25% chance to hit. It's worth it. Oops. Oh! Balon took some big hits. Practice shield there. I'm gonna try to stab him with puncture and hit his shield. Oh, oh. And a good kill. How do you like that? Your buddy was trying to run and we just chopped him down. Aren't you scared? No, he's not. He's laughing at us. Broke his shield and just cut his arm real bad. Hey, that worked pretty well, didn't it? I actually took a little bit of hit, but not much. And we got some cheese out of that. We got some money, uh, some ammunition, some tools. We got a bludgeoning weapon here, a bludgeon, a pickaxe, and a good helm. Hey, that was a pretty good haul. Look, mercenaries, <laughs> I told you you didn't have to worry about anything. You're fine. We're gonna, uh, he's got a helmet, but we're gonna give him a better one since he's a front line and you get the broken one. Uh, you got a club, but you might be more interested in a bludgeon. You need somebody with good fatigue to carry this bludgeon, I think. Uh, and the fatigue is, uh, if I remember right, right here. Yeah, 92. He's got 92. That's pretty good. Yeah, 92 is the one you want to carry. And you can see it drops when he puts it on. This 97 here is, is pretty good, too. He, he could do something better than a hatchet. Could give him the pickaxe. There we go. Gerard leveled up. He's our spearman, so we're going to keep him uh, doing the spearman's work. Let's see. Um, get him some hit points, too. And perks. So he's a stabber. He does a lot of stabby stuff. Uh, let's see. Inflicts 20% damage against those that have sustained an arm injury or an injury like a broken arm. That's good. 
Dodge is kind of good. Gain 15% character's current initiative as bonus to melee and range defense. Uh, resilient. Steel Brow. Yeah, that's what we were kind of talking. It lowers the risk of suffering huge hedge injuries. Yeah, we like that for our frontline people. That's pretty good. All right, heading home. Very successful run there. I was kind of worried with our team getting slaughtered to dire wolves, but uh, we got lucky there. They're no longer ambush trade routes. Check the marketplace. Could get a linen tunic. I think we're gonna buy that. We do have a couple people with some pretty shabby armor here, especially uh, Leberect, so we're gonna put that on him. Leberect, you don't look too bad anymore. No more missions here, uh, no more people to really pick up, and uh, we're gonna be heading out. Let's see. The only place to go is really back up north, so um, and we're pretty far from where we started. There is a road off to the side here. Let's go ahead and head back north. And we'll start to veer off and cut around these little low mountains and see what there is outside of the main road here. Gotta be careful though, there's sometimes really bad stuff off the road. Sometimes there's really bad stuff on the road too. Mountain range. Uh-oh. We got some brigands chasing us. Looks like quite a few of them, too. Can't see them because of the cloud. Oh, keep running. Let's get out of here. We don't know what they're up, what they're doing here. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have to fight them. To arms! Ooh, they got archers and everything. I think uh, we're going to run. the shoulder. Okay. He can throw one and kind of run. These guys are all out chasing us. And there's uh, nine of them, so we have to play it real safe if we want to engage these guys. Our, our guys are already wavering slightly. Ah, that missed. That's unfortunate. We've got shields and they mostly don't, but um, they do have two archers, which is dangerous here. Oh, they're surrounding him. That's bad. Kind of hoping he'd get further out. He died. I tried to run three times. Their shields are coming forward too. Their archers. Probably shouldn't have uh, passed his turn. Shoot the archers. Um, I think I will take a shot. Aim will hit them, but <laughs> I shot at the one below and hit the one above. Okay.
dangerous for them to sit on that hill there. They're gonna kind of grind up this way, keep the shield up. There's a good hit. That's what we want to see. We got a plan, don't worry. Step forward. And of course, miss. That was all part of the plan, trust me. Alright. Um, we can go for the, the destroying armor with this, or we can just uh, batter them. And this guy has good armor, so... I think we're going to try to hit him. Dogs! That was my plan. <laughs> Dogs! <laughs> Dogs! I'm gonna shoot at this guy uh, back here, I think. Good hit. We don't want him shooting our dog. Oh, he killed our dog! <laughs> that was the unarmored one. Ghost, no. Don't worry, we have we have other dogs. One with armor. I was kind of hoping the dogs would get through these guys. Oh, we better shield wall. There's a good hit. to kill. <laughs> Bouncing off the shield. Come on, keep the shield up. <laughs> oh. The dog ran all the way over there and did nothing else. Come on, we need some hits there. We can't just be throwing a bunch of misses. See what happens when you miss? Let the dogs die. This is bad. At least we hurt him pretty good before we died. The dog. Dog's tearing up at the archers. Oh. Oh no! Speaking of which, our archer's in trouble now. This would be a good time to cut his head off. Switching to the dagger. Through the shield. The dog is scared. Oh, he ran away. We well, can't even hit him when he's running away. Oh, they killed both our dogs. Oh, no. Oh, they cut down our guys. Our team is starting to panic a little bit. Stabbed him a little bit. Oh, we've got one running. Oh! oh I think we're done. Oh, our ace in the hole was the dogs. This is what we get for running off the trail. Our guys are running away now. They're not gonna survive. Good old heart, but... Trying to run. He didn't get very far. They just chopped him down. This guy's coming back. He's like, hey, oh. And we fall. 
did so well against the last brigands. Thought we would do well against these. Let the dogs loose. Thought they'd run after the archers. Uh, the archers were <laughs> able to top them down. We got zero points. <laughs> the Obsidian Knights has been annihilated to the last brother. Looters now pick through the bodies, calling out what they find with excited surprise. You made their day. A shame it had to be your last. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's Battle Brothers for you. Thanks for joining. Uh, it was a tough campaign. Uh, it was set at veteran and, and moderate difficulty, and I haven't really gotten a good start with it for a while. So um, that was an okay start, but couldn't really get going after the dire wolves tore us up. So anyway, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, probably make another season here of this soon because it is fun to play and uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.